Hi 106, this is week seven and we are working on unit seven. I have two videos posted here. This first video is going to deal with your technique, your sight reading, and the repertoire piece. I'm going to post a second video that's going to walk you a little bit more step by step through the two-handed harmonization since that's a new concept and that is the weekly grade for this week. But let's look at the beginning of unit seven. So unit seven is taking us through a chord progression where we're dealing with augmented and diminished chords. So if this is new to you, I've written them on my whiteboard here. So working in the key of C major, we've been doing major chords. We've got our root, our major third, our perfect fifth. So identifying it as a capital C, capital M, or a major one. To make that augmented means that it's a major chord with a raised fifth. So raising that G to G sharp is giving me C augmented. Augmented is identified with a small plus sign, whether that's by my capital C for C major or whether that's by my uppercase Roman numeral. From a minor chord, now I've lowered that third to E flat, C minor identified by lowercase, Roman numeral, again lowercase, my adjustment to a minor chord would be a diminished chord. Diminished chord means that you've got the minor third and that you are lowering the fifth. It is identified by a small circle, again C minor, then there's my diminished circle, or using my Roman numeral. So I've got major, I am augmenting or raising that fifth to make it augmented, back to major one, Minor means I'm lowering that third. Diminished means I'm dropping that fifth of my minor chord and diminished. So see if you can work through all 12 keys with this pattern of major, augmented, minor, diminished. We of course will spend some time on your individual work days making sure that this concept is making sense. I encourage you to make sure you've gone through all 12 keys, whether that's working chromatically, working through your circle of fifths, working all the white keys and then the black keys. As you get into your sight reading pieces, which are on 102 and 103, you've got four examples here in different meters, different hand positions. Make sure that you check, some are major, some are minor. So check that key signature, check the end of the piece. But can you use your visual identification of augmented and diminished chords within these pieces to make your reading quicker and more efficient. And that's something that we'll look at in class. But just like we are using chord identification and intervals to speed up our reading, same thing here, looking for these augmented and diminished chords is gonna help us as well. The repertoire piece that you have, Topsy Turvy, is great fun to play on 100 and 101. Think of it like scherzo. I want you to look through and see if you can break it down into segments and how do those segments become patterns and we'll spend some time with that on your specified class day as well. When I'm looking at topsy-turvy, I'm glancing through the two pages and I see it's the exact same rhythm all the way through and I can see the hand crossing all the way through. Upon closer look, I'm looking particularly for where those finger numbers are added. We've talked about that before, that that's a good red flag for that you might be moving. So that is showing me that I'm going to start in one hand position and that I am moving at measure five, measure nine, measure 11, measure 13, and then you can see you've got a repeat on that second page. So take a look at those places where you're moving. Is it stepping up? Is it stepping down? What can I be using as a spot? Is it my thumbs that are moving? Is it the outside of my hands that's a better place to watch? Is it a core position? Once you find that roadmap, practice moving between here's my start, measure five, I'm moving up, measure nine, I'm moving down, 11 down, 13 down. So I'm finding it as a hand position or a cluster, just like we did with Scherzo. Once I see that roadmap, then it's gonna be much easier to take my hand apart. And we've got a fun little crossover that we're adding in there. So you've got some sight reading, you have scherzo, and you've got this new chord progression of major, augmented, minor, diminished. The last thing then that we'll be working on this week will be two-handed harmonization. As I said, the video posted right after this is gonna walk you step by step 
through the two different styles that we have on 105 and then it will be your choice of one of those styles of two-handed harmonization for your weekly grade. Thanks.